At the beginning of May 1945, Soviet troops marched into Melk and took possession of the former camp area. They established a garrison there for some time. Between 1946 and 1948, the area served as a transit camp for so-called Sudeten and ethnic Germans, who were quartered there for a short time and were usually brought to West Germany by train after a few weeks. The crematorium building stood empty from April 1945 and was in danger of decay. But already from 1946 onwards, former prisoners or the descendants of prisoners murdered in Melk visited the barracks and the former crematorium. Already at this time it became apparent that the building with the oven had the character of a memorial and also a cemetery. Many grieving descendants left small pictures of their loved ones they lost in milk in the crematorium, as can be seen in the pictures here. Especially regularly, the members of the Amical de Mauthausen came to milk to commemorate their loved ones in so-called pilgrimages. As early as 1949, they had a monument erected at the crematorium chimney, also in the picture. In this phase, the former camp area was also still accessible, as this photo of a French group of visitors in front of Object 10 shows. But in 1956, the Austrian army took over the site again, and it was no longer accessible to civilians for about 50 years. Today, thanks to a close cooperation with the barracks leaders, it is possible for us to include the barracks grounds in our educational tours and, for example, to view the ceiling beams in Object 10 or the former roll call square. The city of Melk initially demanded that the crematorium building be demolished and a monument erected instead. However, this was prevented by former French and Austrian prisoners. And so in 1962, the building was declared a public monument and in spring 1963, it was ceremonially inaugurated by the then Governor of Lower Austria and former Austrian Chancellor Leopold Fiegel. A photo of Fiegel can still be found on the memorial site today, but he himself was never a prisoner in Melk, but he was a prisoner at Camp Mauthausen. After the dedication of the former crematorium building as a public monument in 1962, Several national monuments were created in the garden outside of the building. But also the large room in which the crematory furnace is located filled up more and more with many different memorial stones, pictures and plaques. The view through the room shows the variety of plaques, which mostly refer to individual victims, but partly also to victim groups of certain nationalities. In May 2018, in cooperation with the Mauthausen Memorial, the Wall of Names was finally realized. On this wall, the names of the 4,884 men who were killed at the subcamp Milk are visualized. It is important to say that all the names are written today in the correct country-specific spelling. The tunnel system is closed today for safety reasons. But close to the former entrance, a large monument can be found today. Over a length of 230 meters, it reminds of the former Katzelthaltepunkt. The wooden loading station built by prisoners where the concentration camp forced laborers had to get off and on the freight trains day after day before and after the forced labor. The memorial consists of juniper bushes and wooden steels. In mythology, the juniper has the meaning of the tree of life and death, in which the souls of the deceased can hide. On the wooden steels you can read the 37 different mother tongues spoken by the former 14,400 camp prisoners of milk. 
Today, the Melk Memorial fulfills several functions. It is still an important place of remembrance and peace, where thousands of people remember the deceased every year. Every year in May, there is also a big international commemoration ceremony, to which also milk concentration camp survivors come. But the memorial is also an important place of education. School children, students, young people and adults can learn about the history of the concentration camp in a permanent exhibition and our trained guides regularly conduct educational tours.